the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkan Wiersma and today I uh, want to do a repot video on one of my fails. But before I do that, um, I already did a few over here in these fairly large uh, pots, as you can see. And those are very large uh, mamas. <laughs> beautiful, of course, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, they needed uh, more room. Maybe uh, you did hear me talk about it in one of my last videos, but I had uh, a fell uh, sort of literally, uh, literally falling out of the pot. <laughs> like uh, these girls, but these have more roots, so they will be fine. But this, these two need to be repotted as well. But anyhow, that happens. If they uh, really start to climb out of the pot, the old roots at a certain point uh, will die off and then they will start falling down. So yeah, I need to do something about that. So I have quite some repots to do. And uh, like we just saw, I did uh, quite a few already. I really like the look of it. It makes them uh, look even bigger in my, uh, my opinion. But anyhow, I uh, will do one, uh, at least one together with you. And of course I did uh, this Leodoro a few months back. So I will link that video so we have an uh, idea how I uh, repot these big fells. But this one is kind of special. They are all special, but this one uh, is very nice because this is, we're going to repot this one. This is the mother plant. And a few years back I did make this keiki, which is still attached. I don't know if you can see it there on that flower spike, which is uh, starting to brown up. Well, actually uh, for a couple of years, <laughs> but anyhow. I, uh, and you can see this keiki has a lot of roots. It's uh, starting to get into a root growth again. It's blooming and spikes are uh, over. So yeah, perfect time for a repot. And uh, because this keiki yeah, maybe has some roots in the pot, but not much. So I thought I will, uh, will give those uh, some more room. And I thought, well, at least I'm going to film this one because it's kind of nice. I have no idea how I will uh, fit them in one uh, bigger pot, but uh, we will uh, we'll find out. So let's uh, go to the orchid room and uh, first get it out of the pot. So yeah, you guys, here we are in my uh, orchid room. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really, really curious to see what is going on in the pot. Because it, it's been a while when I, I took her out to see. Uh, well, speaking of which, let's check. Me. Yeah, you see? Well, I did have it uh, for the checkups, of course, out of the pot. But it was uh, potted up in this, uh, this system in 2018, in uh, December. So that is uh, 19, 20, 21, 22. Seriously? Yeah, it's December. So over four years? That is long. That is very long. <laughs> I, I can hardly, hardly believe it because it's looking so beautiful. And yes, as you uh, probably know, without uh, any flushing, etc. But yes, he's really enjoying the setup. So I needed to a recount, but yeah, this is, this is one of the oldest. I did get it of a uh, co-worker back in the days. And no ID, a simple no ID. She bought it for the blooms and then she heard that I really uh, like uh, growing orchids. So she said, well, I only buy it for the blooms, so if you want it. I said, yeah, I, uh, I will give it a, a, a try to get it back in bloom. But this one has been through a lot because it's one of, uh, one of the first that I did try in a self-watering setup. And as you probably know, I needed to learn a heck of a lot. <laughs> so this one, at a certain point, did lose completely all the roots. Then she decided to make a cake just in case. <laughs> yeah, but luckily she, uh, she did uh, recover fully. And this is uh, the first year that I did uh, rebloom it in those four, four years. Yeah. So you can imagine this one uh, has to, had to, did go through a lot. Anyhow, here we go. Slowly, because I will try to keep as many roots as I can. So yeah, we have some... Uh, area roots here those are from the keiki mainly I, if i can yeah correctly and we have some growing tips there uh pumice and leca so i started to use the pumice already green root here a root here in the pot there so looks like we uh, like we have a very nice root system let's take her out and see if we need to clean up much or not we have a few roots here on the outside it a bit of vellum and it does come off 
So anyhow, now the <laughs> next part. To get it out of the pot without breaking the new root tips. So yeah, I'm going to make a bit of noise. So it comes, comes out fairly easily. But nonetheless, he has roots in the pot. Quite a few, quite easily. So yeah, I'm going to put it there. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit, like so, so you can see what is going on a bit better, I believe. I have my sterilized scissors and I'm just going to check. Like this root is very brown, I don't know if you can see it, but this is at least firm. This is firm, yeah, it's really firm, so I'm going to leave it. So in it, not all uh, roots that are brown. Are necessarily dead. We have one root still in the media there. Let me put this to the side. Let's have a close look at <laughs> that root mess over here. Some moss here I don't mind but it is growing on some old roots that are dead so I'm going to cut it off. Let me put it like this so you yeah have quite a nice vision I believe. I'm just going to check quickly if I uh, not too quick, of course. I don't want to cut any good roots. <laughs> but I'm going to take off a little bit of old roots. Not that much, if you consider four and a half years. We just counted it. I mean, it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm very surprised, actually. I, yeah, you never know. And, and, and because I've been through a lot, like it just explained. So I know how it is when you lift the pot out and all the roots are dead and oh my god I needed to learn so much so much because without flushing yeah the system uh, starts to work different than uh, than than most growers on YouTube uh, explain because of course those those growers flush so yeah I need to figure it out on basically on my own how to deal with that and a lot of people always said no you need to flush Otherwise they will die. Well, four and a half years, you guys, four and a half years. So yeah, everyone basically has a system. I'm no, not trying to be mean or anything, but I also try to encourage you guys a little bit. If you want to try something out of the box, do it because you can learn so much. The only thing you need to uh, think of or uh, keep in the back of your head is that you may fail. So you may lose a plant or you may need to recover it. That's, that's, that can happen, of course. If you do stuff that you're not completely sure what you are doing, yeah, you need to encounter that. It might be a failure. But then again, if you learn what you're doing wrong and you can adjust it like I did, it took me more than a year to figure out the pH problem. But now it, it really works for me. Not saying that all my plants do very well, of course. We always have, I have 400 plus orchids. There always will be a few orchids that, that really don't do well. And that's part of the hobby, of course. But yeah, with my fails, I'm so, so happy to see this. I really am. I really, really, really like them. <laughs> and I do like my other orchids. It just dep <laughs> basically depends on which orchid I have on the table, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's always how it goes. Like the blooms, I, uh, I if I do my blooming updates, I always say this one is special. I really like this one, and then I can go to the next one. I really like this one. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. And meanwhile, I'm checking. These are very old, so I'm going to take that off. They are feeling uh, dry. This one, yeah, this one can go as well. So you can see, this is the uh, growing, uh, the new leaf on the mother plant, and this is the stem. So she, been, uh, she has been in my collection for quite some years. There were all these leaves at a certain point, and they did uh, fall off. <laughs> some just because they uh, didn't get, did get older, and some because I mistreated her badly. Poor thing. But she uh, did forgive me, I believe. <laughs> I'm not cutting the stem if I don't need to. I don't see the point. I'm just leaving it. 
there because otherwise I'm creating a, a wound again. So this is not in my way. So it will get a quite a uh, large spot. At least I think so. I, I, I have a cakey to think of as well, of course. That one needs to go in the pot this time for sure. So, but I think we uh, we will be fine. Let me quickly check. I think that is all that I need to take off. We have once again these roots are dark, but actually they are more yeah. No, more brown. I thought for a second that they are more dark green, but this is a really dark brown. This one, no, that one can go off. As you can see, the vellum is really uh, coming off, so that is a root that doesn't work anymore. At least the vellum, but because this uh, this one has enough roots, I uh, cut it off. Let me check. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I th well, here are a few. Yeah, I think I see two more that can come off, and then we are done. Where are you located? Where's the the base? Here it is. And this one. Let me quickly check. Yes, it's fairly dry. Meanwhile, I see another piece, yeah, that can come off as well. This one, a few more than I thought, but yeah, this should do, this should do. So I'm going to clean up and then uh, we will uh, start up putting this. This is a reused um, leca and pomace, and this is new pomace. It's the more rougher version which I don't like as much, I must admit, but uh, they were, uh, the other one was sold out, and that is this one. It looks like a pebble, but it actually is pumice, but it's way smoother. And I, I like this, uh, this, this is the best one. And it's way cheaper than this one. <laughs> but yeah, they, they run out, and I really needed some media, so I bought one, one bag, and I will uh, visit uh, the garden center uh, probably next week or so again, and then I try to find this, uh, this nice pumice. But yeah, I reuse my, uh, my media and also some leca, of course, but yeah, it's a waste to throw it away. That, that doesn't make sense. And especially with fails, I have no problem if I mix it up a little bit more. So that's the media. This is the orchid pot. Well, actually, it is a uh, food container. But I, uh, I like these because these are not that deep, but uh, very wide. Uh, width, I should say, it has a nice width to it. So we have quite some room to uh, let those uh, roots get into and new roots also in the future get into this pot. And, but it doesn't fit the bottom of the outer pot, so therefore I need to use some uh, wicks. And I found the Cintiq, uh, the long version, uh, to be very uh, useful for that. So that's why it looks a bit strange, but uh, I try to uh, have some wicks inside of the pot to get the moisture up in the pot as well. So that's why uh, I have this pot here. Uh, did I forget anything? No, I don't think so. So yeah, I could have cut off the flower spikes. Um, yeah, these will stay attached. So uh, I don't need any uh, blooms, of course, rotting in the pot. But just quickly, uh, I just want to show you that the, whoops, there's a little part. Don't want to break anything. But here, I hope you can see in there. Uh, let me check. It's a little brown stem. I think you can see it now there. That's the old flower spike. So this is the keiki. And this is the mother plant. And I don't know why, but I, I, I just keep them attached. Oh, look at this. You can better see this from the side, I think. Yes, there it goes. It's an old flower spike. So she thought, I think, she didn't do so well because of me, I know, I know. But she may uh, probably uh, have a thought, quotation marks, thought that she needed something to survive and that's why the, she made this cakey. But anyhow, they both live, still do live, so that's beautiful. And I just wanna keep them like this. I like the look of it. Are you dead? No, brown, but not it. Well, this is, you see this pot is absolutely perfect for this. These buckets, well actually, uh, they are now orchid pots. 
but uh, I bought 25 of these because I have quite some files that I want to give a little bit more room and I need the aerial roots. Once again, if you uh, want to know, I have uh, probably some updates on a Leodora and otherwise we will do updates on this one so I can show you that in most cases I have no problems to let those aerial roots adapt to this uh, new, uh, new setup. I actually think they like it a bit more because they have more uh, access to, uh, to moisture. I think this is a nice uh, angle. Yeah, both of them have quite some room to, uh, to grow more roots in a pot. So I'm going to make some noise because I'm now I'm going to put in the media. And that makes uh, noise. <laughs> yeah, it does cost a little bit more media because the pot is so big. But yeah, if plants do so well, they really deserve it, don't they? So yeah, that's not a problem. I'm, I'm happy really happy to do this so a little bit already used media which I obviously did boil and and, and flush so I, I know how to flush <laughs> but I don't uh, want to overdo it but yeah I, I did clean it up sometimes there is a little bit of an old root still in there but it has been boiled so it shouldn't do much damage but I tried to get everything out <laughs> Sometimes I just miss a few pieces and that's not the end of the world. I do this for years, so never had any problem with it. So, yeah. Oops, that leaf, you need to pick up. Where are my wicks? Yes, everything seems to go still very well try to get the holes out so I uh, shake the pot a little bit although these do not mind uh, uh, air gaps they actually they like it but if you have a little bit too much you will uh, lose your wicking effect because the media needs to stay in touch to uh, to be able to wick so keep an eye on that, but I leave on purpose, if I can, some air gaps, because I know these, these roots really enjoy some extra air. So don't, you don't need to, to stress about it too much, I believe. So I now I need to have a good look, because we just saw that this mother has quite a horizon, and I don't want to keep that too wet. So I lift her a little bit and now see the point of the rice. I'm just, just above the level of uh, pumice. I, it's really hard to show it on camera, but you probably can see it a little bit, I hope. And do I want to have more media in here? A little bit. I'm going to try to lift her a little bit more, just to make sure I have uh, media everywhere, and now I have that wick on the back here. That's not really ideal, but I will push it down a little bit more in the pot. Once again, I don't want to wet, have that base wet of her, but she's fine. She is fine. And then I have this wick that can go over here for the new roots. And um, yeah, I'm going to give this a top layer of pebbles, and that should should do it for now. Lift that leaf one more time. Just a little bit to avoid any uh, dry uh, top place. And here I use a little bit more um, pebbles because these do not wick. And that is once again the uh, base of uh, the mother plant that is really close to the media. And I'm going to cover it a little bit in pebbles. That's okay, once again, because the pebbles don't wick. So it dries up. Is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Let me check. Well, let's check together. Look at this. Isn't this cute? I think it is. And look at the beautiful roots there. Yeah. Did go... Did 
did do go, whoop, <laughs> which are a little bit hard. Very well, I think. Beautiful media. I love it, but yeah, once again, I love the other problems a little bit better, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to flush it and then uh, put it, uh, put it a, a nice, uh, or find a nice uh, space in the greenhouse and put it there because it's now a little bit bigger, so it needs a little bit more room. I will see you guys in the inside of the greenhouse. Well, yeah, actually, f at least for now, I did put them in the same spot again because there was a little bit more room than I uh, than I actually thought. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with this repot. It did go very smoothly, and yeah. Four and a half years, I had barely had any to take off any roots. I'm still impressed. I uh, had no idea. I, I, of course, I had a feeling that it, these two plants, both of them, did uh, do fairly well. But yeah, this is uh, this is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And yes, I know it might look a little bit funny because they are, these plants are miniatures. They are mini the, the pot is fairly big. But this is for me the only way to get so many roots in one pot. If it's just, if you have just a starting root tip like this, yeah, obviously you can, and all of those were about the same length of roots, you can use obviously a smaller pot. But yeah, then I needed to cut off so many roots and yeah, I don't want to do this. These are trying so hard to uh, establish themselves. So yeah, then, then I rather have a little bit <laughs> bigger pot for a small fell. And talking about, maybe you did see the video, but this one is the same story, this yellow one. I did a video on it because it had, has, in, no, not anymore. There are a few there, but it had 18 spikes in bloom. Yeah, it's a mini fell and it's fairly, it's looking now fairly large, but you can see the leaves are, are not going any bigger because it's a mini fell, but it has also a fairly large pot, maybe slightly smaller than the, the one we just repotted. But then again, yeah, so many roots, so many roots, so yeah. But I like the look of it, to be honest. I really like the shape. But some people don't like big pots for small plants. I kind of get it, but <laughs> if they start to bloom and if they start to get their earlier roots, they uh, probably uh, should, uh, should be fine. Yeah, but if you compare to these girls, the big mamas, yeah, that's a different, those look beautiful in big pots i kind of get it but yeah once again i'm choosing uh, the plant first and then i try to look make it uh, look as beautiful as i can the whole picture but first the plants so yeah i uh, i really enjoyed this one i hope uh, you guys did too and of course as usual if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and for now, just thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my uh, next videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>